What is going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Sorry for the delayed videos. I have been in Maui, Hawaii for the last week. I literally just got off the flight. It was like a overnight flight. I left Hon Maui at 8 p.m. Well, Hawaii in general, Honolulu Airport. And I got to Utah at 6 a.m. due to the four hour time difference. But I came home to two statues. We got Steppenwolf, we got Doctor Strange. I'm gonna open Steppenwolf first. I always do what I consider the, you know, inferior statue before we get to the grail. Although I do think this is going to be phenomenal. Uh, this completes the Justice League line by Prime One Studios. Granted, I sold off, you know, two of the pieces from that line. But yeah, here's the base. Quite heavy box. Some of the, it's, it's kind of like sticky here, uh, where his foot pegs in, and so some of the styrofoam was sticking to it. It has like a sticky look, it's weird. <clears throat> okay. All right, yeah, here it is. Let's see, that's the front, styrofoam stuck. And here is the bottom. Um, I don't even see, let's see, I got 233 of 300. Son of a friggin' god! Look at that, styrofoam stuck. I gotta say though, I definitely miss my frickin' man cave. Anytime I go on vacation, I really miss my cave. You know, and after I Loved Ray and Gizmo, Gizzy. I immediately want to unbox these. I always find it wild when I meet someone and they're like, they have a statue in the box for like four months before they even unbox it. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I never delay unless I'm on vacation, folks. Literally. Yeah, big, big base, huge. So this is the deluxe bonus, which comes with a few additional parts. Lots of pieces in here, folks, lots of pieces. All right, and here is his massive body. Oh my goodness. He is a big boy. Ugh. Lots of freaking styrofoam everywhere. Oh my goodness. I wanna try to get it off if I can. Yeah, like just look how big this is. I can't even freaking see the peg. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Massive peg. All right. I'm just going to take the duster to it once I'm done. Wow, there is a ton of pieces to this. A ton. I'm going to have to do some of this off camera. Like, you have 13 pieces you insert into him because he has all these spikes. So we'll have to do that off camera. Uh, just way too many, honestly. I want to do like the, the basics for you guys and then I'll do everything else off camera. Now let's get out his portrait. He only comes with one portrait. I wish he would have had two. Portrait looks amazing. Check that out. Very, very cool. Great detail. Strong magnet. I wanna see what this ax looks like. I'm assuming it's similar to the dark side. Yeah, it's similar. All right. <clears throat> I'm 
Man, he has a lot of fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fingers. It's pretty crazy. Looks, looks excellent. I got no complaints on that. This one just goes right here. This arm, you have a few different options. So you have this fist option. I did not realize his hand had seven fingers. That's crazy. As you can see, big metal rod peg. You know. So that's kind of the basic look, uh, which is cool. You know, the fist look, man, that is so close to his body. That, that's cool, no doubt. However, the option for, you know, like, I'm never going to display this again, to be honest. I would leave it in the box, but I feel like, I don't know, maybe I should. It's so spiky, I feel like putting it anywhere else and you could break it. I may just leave it in the box, but put the box downstairs. I want the hand holding the frickin' mother box. Yeah, this thing just has styrofoam literally everywhere. mother boxes. Let's see right here. Okay. There's this mother box. This is just like black. Wait, what the? That's not cool. Just a black one? I think it has a light up feature. This one is far cooler, far cooler. Yeah, this one is a light up one, but this just looks way cooler as is. So that's the one you're gonna wanna display for sure. Now there's also stuff like this. So there is his hand, yeah, right here. Yeah, see, here's his big open hand that's gonna allow him to, in essence, hold the mother box. Let's see. Like so. So that is the look I'm gonna be going for. He also does include one of these little like drones. This was like a drone he used uh, to, you know, in interrogate people. And you can have this on his hand as well. However, I'm just gonna place this on the base. You literally just place it on the base. So there's no reason to ever have him holding that. You just put it on the base. Yeah, there's one more of these, and I think it goes on the back. No. The sport would be the buttocks. It's definitely the buttocks area. All right, just trying to get everything out that's not the spiky things. So, 
This is the hand you would use for the spider-like thing. Uh, like I said, I will never display that. I want the mother box. I think that looks cool, so I'm gonna leave this in the box. Yeah, that's definitely staying in the box. And then there's also just like a fist. Uh, this actually goes where this is at. So if you wanna do just a fist, you can, but why would you not display that freaking weapon? That weapon, you know, is his signature. Now he used that weapon literally the whole movie. So that is staying in the box. So I'm definitely leaving a lot of pieces just in the box, just cause I don't have a lot of space to put that anywhere else. And if I'm never gonna display it, it's safer in the freaking box. All right. We're gonna pause the video because uh, everything else is just these little spiky things. And then you got like crap like this, which this I think actually just goes like on the chest. Is that accurate? I'll figure it out. Anyways, I'm gonna pause it and complete them. Hold on. Alrighty, YouTubers. So. There is one small piece I could not, for the life of me, figure out, this little Jupiter. And these instructions are not very easy. First off, they're not color-coded. Both of these do have light-ups. I haven't tested it yet. But I could not figure out where this one is. I looked. I don't see an open hole. And I think I got everything. You know, it's like when I look on each side, it all matches. I don't know if maybe I just got an extra one. But as you can see, there's tons of these spikes here. I saw I'm going to find it. But yeah, I could not figure out where this one goes. So whatever. I'll probably throw it in my closet. And if some of you know, let me know and I'll add it. But here he is. Yeah, very spiky, just like the movie. Very cool looking, almost Transformer-esque-ish looking. Huge statue, no doubt. I definitely agree adding that to the base is the best option. And I think this is the best pose because I'm sure that light up is going to be cool. However, look at it. It's just literally black nothing. Like literally, what the fuck is this? That is the, you know cube when it's like changing form the mother box so super cool never display a fist on that hand that's stupid the fist on this is okay if you want just like that fighting pose however i feel like the mother box just overall looks better uh, but i do i don't mind the fist down look like it's not bad but that's cooler the mother box is awesome you know, and then just always display that on the base. That's the DX bonus part is this little guy. And I had never actually planned to display him. Uh, but I did want to get it. And I always want to get the DX bonuses. You know, you never know if you want to, you know, do a switch out here and there. But yeah, here is Steppenwolf. Beast of a piece. You know, I wish the instructions were a little bit better so you could, uh, you know, set it up better. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, some of the better instructions out there, like ECC, XM, they do like a freaking booklet. And they really, you know, show you how to put the piece together. Where this, it's kind of just like playing Tetris. You know, I'm still like looking for that, where that other piece could go. And I still have no effing idea. Nevertheless, first impressions, it looks absolutely amazing. It's huge, super cool looking. <clears throat> The entire statue is more or less, you know, just gray uh, outside of the body parts, but it is different shades of gray, like lighter, darker. So it's not just one tone, you know, it's probably like five different shades of gray in there. Uh, but I love the overall look of the piece. I think it looks amazing. The base looks great. It's just like all the other bases that has like, I don't know if Steppenwolf per se has a logo per se, but that just looks like his horns and his head uh, right there in the front of the base. But the top is just rocks, nothing special. Uh, you know, like Dark Side's base is far cooler looking, in my opinion. But he looks overall great. Let's throw him uh, in the display and see how he looks next to, you know, my other Justice League. Alrighty, folks. So here's an initial preliminary. However, I'm really thinking that we should put Steppenwolf over here and those two over there. I mean, you can just see how tall he is. He's taller than the Aquaman bust. 
but I am leaning towards Steppenwolf right here. I think that is the better route than having them those two surround Flash and Cyborg. In essence, kind of the whole Justice League here to the left, those two to the right. So, plus, you know, the way Steppenwolf arm is up, quite, I, I don't, the Aquaman arm is repaired and in transit to me. I get it next week. So, quite confident it would hit that arm. So, that arm would be better used over here and doing like Flash right here instead next to Aquaman. So, let's go ahead and move this. Alrighty, folks. I do think this works a little bit better. Uh, and I put flash in the middle so you can have the red separating the two silvers. Uh, you know, you don't want too much silver in one area. But check it out. We just need the Aquaman arm and then that completes the display. And I think it should fit there. I can scoot Cyborg over a little bit. But yeah, there is Steppenwolf. If you can see him next to Darkseid, he is a little bit shorter than Darkseid. He's heavier than Darkseid. Base is as big, but I would say almost deeper. Almost deeper, but as wide. Overall, you know, I forget the exact dimensions, but I think he's like 39 inches or 40, and Darkseid's 41. He's like, you know, one inch shorter. Like I said, Dark Side definitely has a way better base. In terms of Dark Side versus Steppenwolf, which one I like more? As a total statue, I'd still probably say Dark Side. He has three portraits, you know, totally different arms that really change up his look, you know, with his weapon, arms behind the back, the fist up, you know, and all, most of his poses are really good. Where him, you have the fist down right here fist down there and then the two mother boxes and the spider now this mother box does not have a lot it's literally just black and that's it this does have a light up there's a button here on the side so that's pretty cool it takes two triple a batteries so you know that's pretty cool i thought that one would have a light up but now it's literally just a black box it's you know, terrible, honestly. <laughs> I don't care for that. I'm putting that immediately back in the box. This is the mother box to display. And frankly, this is the best pose. And then just have this little guy right here in the base. You know, I think that is the coolest look for him. You know, have this little drone just literally walking on the base. I will say, in general, Steppenwolf is better than all the other Justice League statues outside of Darkseid. So I would say these two are the best of the entire line, you know, even over, like, the Batman uh, on Gargoyle and so forth. So these two are definitely the best. They have the most presence, the best detail, and they overall look the best. And then of the normal Justice League, not the villains, Batman is the best, the one I sold. Uh, and then after that probably the Wonder Woman I sold. You know, and you guys know why I sold them, though. But then, after that, probably Cyborg, Flash, Aquaman's the, you know, least favorite of them all. Slightly underscaled. Armor could be a little bit better. You know, likeness is there, but overall, it just could be better. So, yeah. Overall, Steppenwolf is awesome. Very happy to have him. I think he looks really cool, and he definitely does stand out. That gray armor looks really good. Uh, no, up close. Let's get some good close-ups of this guy. Semi-metallic look. You know, and his armor was, like, ever-changing. These things were always, you know, changing. And just here where you want to put this piece on before the arm, because the arm does slightly cover. Otherwise, it sticks out. I never found out where that last spike went, so I'm just going to keep it in the box. So I could not find where it goes. Not a huge deal. It looks complete to me. I don't see any open holes. So I'm not going to stress about it. Pretty awesome looking, I will say. You know, like the seven freaking fingers, two toes. Uh, the portrait looks excellent. You know, check out that portrait. Eyes are very well painted. You know, it looks very much like the prototype. 
His fingers and hands look great. The fingernails look really good. The weapon is awesome and it's very sharp, almost metal. But I do like that weapon quite a bit. It is pretty big, but it's not a massive space hog like his is. I love Darkseid's weapon. I think it's awesome, but it's super long and takes up a ton of space. It literally adds like a foot of width to the statue, which is annoying. Where his maybe adds three or four inches uh, off to the side, so it's not a big deal. But definitely way better with that weapon. Dark side does look really cool with the weapon. I think his best pose is weapon and then that fist up. But I really do like the arms behind the back just showcasing, you know, what a absolute, you know, god he truly is. So, yeah, very happy to have Steppenwolf. I'm going to go ahead and unbox Doctor Strange next. You know, we're going to display him right here. We'll move Loki. Probably just move Loki there. I really need to just box him up, but... Uh, yeah, we'll get Doctor Strange. Captain America bus is also starting to ship. Uh, I found a seller. I'll be buying it, and then I'll have it in a month. So we'll get that in July. So very excited to get Captain America. Definitely glad I did not order direct from Queen because I saw their shipping quotes. They wanted twelve hundred dollars. Absolutely mind boggling. Anyways, folks, that is it for the video. You'll notice I did move the mother boxes uh, temporarily. I'll probably just put them all right there, actually. I just put them here while I was moving stuff. But yeah, that's going back in the box. We're going to display this permanently pretty much like that. Not going to change that up. I like it that way. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of Steppenwolf. Overall, he's an absolutely fantastic statue. He costs $2,000, which is a lot. But I do feel I get my money's worth considering his massive size, the detail, the swap outs. Even if they're not all amazing swap outs, but really what can he do? But overall, absolutely amazing piece. Incredible job, Prime One Studios. If you're looking to buy this, use the links below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.